let me say a little bit about what's going on right now um, that I just absolutely adore about the series. Um, like I said in other videos, uh, I'm, a, I'm a storyteller, right? I'm a journalist by trade. Um, that's my full-time job, is I'm a writer. And um, so when I see games that take storytelling to a new level, I love it. Um, and you're gonna see here <clears throat> why I'm saying this right now. In the next couple of minutes, what, what's happening, it seems like innocent chats, innocent quotes, but it's really exposition, right? It's, it's giving the gamer an idea of where everyone's head is at. Hey everybody, welcome back to our Final Fantasy VI playthrough. We're gonna go through part four here in a minute. Please don't mind my unruly hair. It's been a, uh, it's a coronavirus hairdo is what I've, I'm calling it. Um, but today we are going to move into actually a major plot point of Final Fantasy VI. Again, this is part four. Now, we so far have met a few of our characters, a few of our heroes, and now we're going to connect them to this movement called the Returners. Now, they end up becoming a major part of the plot as we move forward. And in this episode, you're going to see, uh, you know, the, the origin of the Returners relationship with our heroes. We're going to meet a new character as well, uh, once again. Uh, and ultimately, uh, you're going to see us, an octopus beat the crap out of me. So, <laughs> um, but, you know, before I move on, uh, you know, please subscribe to this channel. I am playing the whole Final Fantasy VI game through. It's my favorite game of all time. Um, but I also have other things on this on the site. You can you can get an idea elsewhere on this uh, this channel, kind of what I'm doing uh, and where I'm going with this. So subscribe, like the videos if you if you like them. Don't like them if you don't. Uh, you know, comment in the bottom. Let me know what what your thoughts are on Final Fantasy VI and gaming in general. Uh, so uh, without further ado, I will just let the action do the talking. And you know, unlike past scenes, I think the audio is okay in this one, which is good. Uh, I think I perfected it for the next one, and that's going to be a good thing because I know the audio issues kind of bugged the hell out of me when, when for the first few installments. Um, but you know, we're, we're starting to move into the, some plot points that are pretty, uh, pretty fun, pretty cool, uh, interesting, and um, you know, you get to see me uh, steal somebody's clothes. So that's kind of kind of rude, but it was you know for a good cause. And, uh, you know, you're, we're going to see that and more here in our uh, part four of our Final Fantasy VI playthrough. Again, love the game. Let me know what you think of the game. And uh, let me know what you think of the, of the playthrough. I mean, um, yeah, so we'll let the, uh, our heroes take it away. So last time I was here, last time I played, or ever since last time I played, um, I was on vacation. I took a week. I call it a vacation, but anyway, I had to go home to Chicago for some reasons, and so I took about a week in Chicago, and while I was there, I took the time to grind a little bit, and I didn't want to make any big milestone jumps in the story, so here I am now, trying to get, get to the Returners hideout. I learned a lot about how, to, how these guys are, I mean, yeah, that's, I just did that a lot. Because now that our levels are up to about 15 or so, um, the dude is pretty damn good. Yeah, so you can see also I have uh, 47,000 gills, so um, that's also because of the grind. <clears throat> Here we go. King of this way, please. This is like they they don't let you, they don't let you explore because they need the next step in the story to go, I guess. Which is Marco and Orlando also, um, and I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm gonna start doing this game a little bit more frequently and more deliberately. I can't keep saying the same thing, but I do so. Oh, that's Baron, I think, right? I will say that it's, it's really been great to reconnect with the story um, 
And I don't know how many of you guys have ever done like a, a, a game years after you um, play it before. But I forgot about the returners. I forgot about the hideout. And so when you, they all bring a little nostalgia. You get like a very regular diet of nostalgic moments in the game, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah. We brought we brought her with us. Bannon, Bannon, that. Oh, is that what, I think that's what I said, right? <laughs> Look at that guy. He looks like uh, I don't even know. So this is the girl, the one to whom the Esper responded. Esper? The Empire had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. Ooh, that's... It's a good thing for those carrier pigeons. It's totally true, Tara. You're a killer. And here I go being the nice, calm guy. Chill out, lady. <laughs> He's not wrong. <clears throat> Perhaps you've heard the story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open. But someone went and opened it anyway, unleashing all the evils of the world. Pandora. Pride. Envy. Greed. Wrath. Gluttony. The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of light. Hope. Your power is a gift. Not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. <clears throat> you are this world's last ray of light, my final hope. No pressure. Mm -mm. So yeah, I started. I'll talk more when I'm fighting because right now there's a little exposition. I've grown weary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. Mm -hmm. Here goes again. The Empire stole someone important for me. I've hated it ever since. If no one stands up to the Empire, more people will be like me. That's why I joined the Returners. Okay, so this... But there's no one important in my life. I have no family. No friends. That's not true. Besides, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people are counting on you too. So... Let me say a little bit about what's going on right now um, that I just absolutely adore about the series. Um, like I said in other videos, uh, I'm, a, I'm a storyteller, right? I'm a journalist by trade. Um, that's my full-time job, I'm a writer. And um, so when I see games that take storytelling to a new level, I love it. Um, and you're going to see here <clears throat> why I'm saying this right now. In the next couple of minutes, what, what's happening, it seems like innocent chats, innocent quotes, but it's really exposition, right? It's, it's giving the gamer an idea of where everyone's headed at before we get too deep into the, you know, the mechanics of trying to win this whole thing. Oops. Civilization will be gaining more and more sympathizers around the world. Freedom is almost within our grasp.
the umpire snuffing out returners wherever it finds them. We must find a way to strike back before it's too late. So here we go. I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs before his own, ever since we were little. I think you should trust him too. There's no time I said that. He'll turn red as a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little laugh that they give him. Um, yeah, so that and that's that's what I used to love about this game. Like I was a storyteller. I should say I liked reading stories. I liked book, reading books when I was a kid. So that's where gaming kind of took me to a different spot, different spot in my life, and different spot in kind of what I wanted to do. Let me say it while I'm here, actually. What's up, Edgar? It's not easy asking so much of you. And if we force our ideas on you, we're no different than the Empire. So we want you to decide for yourself. <clears throat> Air knife. Phoenix down. Please have the courage to join us in our battle. Knight's code. Antidote. Ether. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's find out what's next in our schedule here. He went outside just a moment ago. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? This is like that, um, a lot of games you, you have like, Uncharted does it really well where they don't start the story at the very beginning. They start the story like in the middle, then come back to the beginning. Um, this is kind of like that. I mean, I, I gotta say yes, right? Will you? Well, yes, I said yes. Stop asking me before I return my, change my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the uncertainty you're feeling is only natural. Tara, I want you to have this. <laughs> Gauntlet. Please gather everyone together. Here we go. Well then, we all know that the Gestalian Empire is using its magitech power to wage war. The question is, where do they get that power? It seems the Empire has been gathering scholars from around the world to study Esther's. As for the Magitech, only one possible link comes to mind. You don't mean the War of the Magi. Oh, here we go. No, that's impossible. You're saying we're on the verge of a second war of the bad guy? 
It's only a guess. Mm -hmm. Ordinary humans were also infused with the same energy. If we want to fight magic enemies, we need magic wep magic weapons of our own. Sorry, Ben, that shit's happening. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand, I understand the plan, but what the heck? Sounds like it'll be fun. Here we go. This is awesome. <laughs> Man and sir. Saw that coming. South Figaro. What's wrong? What happened? There's, they're headed this way. Here we go, baby. I won't be gone long. <laughs> Throw a little romantic rivalry in there. <laughs> we need to save down the Lathe River and make our way to Narsh. I'm curious about the Esper they found in the mines. Where we'll, I'll run to the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much choice at this point. Come with us to Narsh. Give me a chance for you to get a better understanding of your abilities. Oops, sorry. We've no time to dilly dally. Let's make for Narsh. Here we go. I thought I had a choice. Guess I have to. Head toward Narsh while protecting Ben at all costs. The journey's over, okay? I don't know which way I'm going. Oh, here we go. This is a maze, isn't it? I forgot which way to go. Whew. Oh man, this guy's this guy's tools gonna be dope. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on his hit points. Good thing is, Terra has magic and we have potions. That means the right way or not? 
Go under that bridge. <clears throat> nice. Up, right? Ooh, we made it. Nice. How do you solve blind? I forgot. Eye drops or something, right? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> I thought we chose which ones we wanted to do, but I guess not. Up. Or not. <laughs> Shit. Nice. This should do it. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I leveled up for about several hours while I was in Chicago, just kind of messing around. So it's kind of seems to be coming to, uh, uh, to my benefit now. Bad. And Ben still got a lot, so nice job, nice job, nice job. I need to figure out some cooler things to talk about. There we go, we got our first guys in there. I think. Um yeah. Shit. I need to get him healed in between. Uh -uh. See, so like, like I said, like I'm learning the story. I'm almost learning the story. Like as I go again, and it's awesome. Oh shit. I don't know why his band was so low. Um, yeah, I'm learning the story as I go, so this is really cool. I definitely don't know what I'm telling him doing when it comes to, uh, God, I should have done, should have done Cure. This should be a boss battle. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Here we go, baby. Come on. Gwee hee hee hee. Ultros. You have to creep without a paddle. I'm not going to let you through. Nice. Seafood soup is not on the menu. Woo, look at that. Just messed her up. Oh, no! Ah, oh. damn. Right, this is we have to be patient a little bit and just let things happen, you know, slowly but surely. 
let the two brothers kind of do the uh, do the fighting, and then but then have have uh, these two do the do the do the uh, shit. What's happening here? Oh, this is where everyone splits, right? We should be all right now. Oh, you crazy kid. Oh, he'll be fine. You sure, Benham? Sir? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so anyway, what I was saying is like, I like, like, I know this streaming is, is I, mean, I want to, you know, make it interesting and talk about interesting things. Um, but sometimes you just like get so into the game, you'll uh, kind of forget about it. It's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lost. Ooh. I didn't care a race toward Narsville protecting Bennett. But what of Saban, who was swept away by raging waters? And how is Marco faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Let's go to Marco. This is awesome. Choose your own adventure type thing. Marco has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but he desperately needs to escape. Hmm. <laughs> I like how they tried to stop looking. Rich people's homes always have secret passages. You should have to search until you find a place where you can feel a draft. Hello. There we go. How many points? We have six potions. Gold needle, all these things. We have a lot of money, so we don't need any of this stuff. Okay. You're that infamous thief, Marco, aren't you? Now that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter, and don't you forget it. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Should have stole some from him. Oh. I have an idea. Steel. That's right. Nice. Go home, dude. Run away. No, I that kid will let me through now. Was he here? No.
Came as soon as oh, bring it on, baby. to go now though. All right, where's the cider people? Here we go. Boom. If you guys missed, if you guys missed the my previous gameplay, this is a huge deal because I was actually walking around this town like an idiot trying to figure out how to do this. Not realizing that it wasn't time for it yet, <laughs> so um, you know, living there. Here's the mansion north of the town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. It's um, you forget the password, motherfucker. Here we go. Now we are talking. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Safe. There's a save over here. I believe, right? Clang, clang, clang. Wind the clock. There we go. What have I done? I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was the money. You son of a bitch. There we go. Huh. I know I've seen her before. Oh, it's that, uh, what's her name? I have to give her a good name. A magic knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have even truly known the woman that needs the general's guys. <clears throat> so 
the mighty faith has fallen. <laughs> that's actually, that actually sounds right. Har, 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 har. Not as far as those who use their strength to oppress the weak. Quiet. Kepka is planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Shut up. Run them off of yours, or you still can. Your execution is tomorrow. <laughs> Always be saving, baby. Well, let's get going. You take me with you? Hell yeah, let's go, girl. Or woman. <laughs> I thought we were going to fight. There we go. <laughs> fight with Celeste for the first time. Ooh. How good she is. Eh, not too, not too good, but I see we have weapons for her. Actually, Keep going after him. Man, that's so nice, right? This woman gets like really equipped very quickly. No, things are gonna be amazing when we get lost in. Baby. 
I'm gonna give him some potion here. Well done, y'all. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get lost in this place and not be able to get out of here. Attack multiple people and stuff that fucking sucks. Here we go. I hate when they both get their attacks off. Oh no! Good thing you ran away. <laughs> yeah, most of this grinding stuff I probably won't be putting in this in the videos. There it is, and this is the one. Oof. I sure thought sure thought we'd just be running around there all night. There's no way there was anything in those side side paths see so you gotta attack that guy first See, now I feel like there's a lot to explore that I'm missing. So, I'll keep an eye on my hit points and keep exploring. Nice, gain a level. This is 
stupid. That's just stupid. <laughs> Oof. Motherfucker flee. Come on. Oh shit, she's almost dead. Come on, just survive this round. Flee, now this time I want her, want her to flee. Okay. Why can't I sprint down here? That's weird. All right, let's get out of here. Good, you're getting level. Oh, this is a dead end too. Shit! Where am I? Why am I not sprint? Not able to sprint? <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Cook it easy, boys. Boy and girl. Oof. You remind me a lot of someone. How can you because I want to? Is that where I gotta go? No, wrong button. There we go. Nice. 
Nice. That's good. We're at what? Level 15. Big boy. Uh oh. Ah. I keep pressing that button. I don't mean to. I'm really not trying to cheat. I feel like there's a big um, battle about to come up, come around. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Mm. Nice. Oh, I should have known. I've already fucking opened all these. Come on, go, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. What's that noise? Nice. Very nice. What is that? Something's coming through the wall. Uh-oh. Tunnel armor? Here we go, baby. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember this. Okay, just ruin it all the time. So I don't want to, see, I didn't know what that was. You gotta make sure it doesn't die though. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, there we go. Nice risk, that's the worst. Risk worth taking.